circle. Uh, he was in, so that tells you that, yeah, because there can be extremely wealthy people to get the truth. It's rare, but it happens. You know what I'm saying? You went to Parliament Beck and Parliament with your house, right? But Parliament with Parliament with your house. And when Joseph had taken the box, wrapped it, and put it in his pocket. They knew how to do some shit back then. Oh yeah, they, I mean, they so took... came to build a fucking, uh, 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 you know, popsicle stick house, man. <laughs> you know when you, when you was in school, popsicle sticks and shit. But you got to think too, that was a tomb no, for a king though. Right, I'm here. I'm you know here. what I'm saying? Because that was his own, as he said it was his own tomb. He was a very wealthy man. So he, so he gave it, you know, his tomb to the Lord. Because the Lord, like I said, the Lord is the king of Israel. Yeah. Right, he's the king. That, that's the whole reason. Because even when Pontius Pilate crucified him, what did he put on? on uh, what, what did his uh, inscription say he on wrote, the cross? He wrote, yeah. It said, uh, uh, the, king. the king of the Jews. Three languages. Three, three languages. Three. Later in his own which he had moved out in the cross, he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre of the party. There was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command, therefore, that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away, and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead, so the last error shall be worse than the first. God said unto them, you have to watch you. Go your way, make it as short as you can, so they will make it as short as you can. I got a scripture though, because we dealt with the crucifixion. You see, that's what the Lord went through, man, because people acting like they got a rough. Look what they did to the Lord. about that he denied the Lord three times check that out I got a scripture second Ezra is 14 and 13 now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people it says reprove thy people comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption let go from the mortal thoughts Cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Right, like you just read in that, uh, what was that scripture you read? Where, where he, he told the disciples that he's going to be crucified. Yeah, and what did he tell the disciples? He said, well, he told me to get behind me, sake, right? And he said, you got to, uh, he said, uh, you got to be search out the things to be in the most high, not the things of man. Because the things of man are those mortal thoughts. You know, you got the mortal thoughts. You worried about how you're going to eat to sustain your physical body. You know what I'm saying? You, you just worried about, worried about, you know, living. And really, fuck this life. I curse my life, bro. Like Job, you read the book.
book of Job. Job cursed the day he was born. Fuck this life and fuck this world, bro. You can start daily. Do what? You can start daily. Oh, yeah, yeah. Daily, man. Every day we die daily. You're exactly. You do got to die daily. Literally. You got to get it because this, this life is worthless. Yeah. It has no value. None. You know what I'm saying? No. That, that's why the scripture says, let me, worry, let me get that again. No. It had, that, and that's why the Lord, that's why he wasn't scared to go on that cross. He had the power to stop them when they was going to kill him. Then he say, do you know I got power? What did he call down legions or something? Bro. He could he could call down fire Ooh. from heaven. Bro. You see, he uh, Peter chopped off someone's ear and he healed him. You know what I'm saying? He could have easily just started jacking everybody up, but it wasn't that time. Because he he, he's, he was doing the work of the Lord, not the work of man. See what I'm saying? But a lot of people can't under comprehend that one. Let me read this real quick. First I'll go ahead. How then we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor are the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. In a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of war. Right, because they, that's a good one. They would have not, would go back to who? Israel, right? The princes of this world. But, as it is written, I have not seen, nor hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things that the Most High has prepared for them that go him. But the Most High has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. Yeah, the deep things of the Most High. Yeah, because most of the, the deepest parts of this truth, you know, we can't teach you. We can't teach you. You know what I'm saying? The Spirit going to rebel. The, That's right. The, the Spirit going to rebel. You're going to be out meditating one day, and the Spirit is going to hit you heavy with some a heavy revelation. And you're going to get understanding through the Spirit. Can't wait to see the problem you tell me. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. That's how you be. Like, I can't wait. I had to revel. You know what I mean? Lord, that's how, that's what Peter said, uh, was that Matthew 16, uh, and, uh, the Lord told Peter, said, blessed art thou, uh, uh, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it to you, but my Father which is in heaven. And the flesh and blood cannot reveal unto you the deepest, the deepest of the secret. Oh, Satan don't like that. Don't yeah. like that. That's right. Oh, damn, Satan. Like, the day, boy. That's all you got, though, Satan. Yo, you a weak ass bitch. So he got us that wind. Send a tornado. He gonna send a tornado when this old motherfucker out. He gonna send all you IC bitches out again. He's gonna send them to the butcher. Oh, shit. like a hobby, a side project, right, right, right. you know what I mean? Just a little something you just do on entertainment. Some inter yeah, some right, entertainment. Right. Just some interesting guys on the corner. We're not trying to just go to just to be popular. Hey. Oh, uh, here he comes back. Hey, you going to You never know. But yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. You're talking that, man. Hey, yeah. What was we talking about for Satan came through? Um, hold on, hold on. Yeah, every oh, right here. yeah, you notice that every time you start getting some heavy information come out, some loud ass ambulance will come by, the wind is starting to pick up. That's some bad stuff. Yeah, I'm about to say that too. Yeah. Or like when you're out here teaching somebody, right when you get to the important part you was trying to, the, the, to rebuke the scoffer with, somebody comes up, interrupts you. Right, every time you get to that important part, so you get interrupted. That's just the spirit. That's how you know the spirit's real. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have made prepared for them that love Him. I but the Most High has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. I gotta change my battery. Ah. 
My knees is hurting, boy. I'm getting old. Alright, we gotta switch this 